Yo, check it out. See these here? I wore my unions at a sneaker event. I wore them a couple times. I must have worn these things like four or five times, man. And it actually, it's still good to go. I could still probably wear it a couple more times, but I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take this off, and I'm gonna prove to you guys that how it, how it looks. Look at that. Whoo! It still looks DS. It still looks clean. Like I try to tell y'all, keep the bottoms of your shoe clean. Anyways, me and Drip Grip, we are doing a special, special discount for you guys for my birthday in the one year of the company opening. is Jumperman30. Save you 30% off, guys. So make sure you guys um, take advantage of that on my birthday, which will be June 28th till uh, June 30th. So get on that Drip Grip. What's going on with you, YouTube Jumpman Chris? Here we come back at y'all with another vid now today's video i just kind of want to recap about this whole union release because i feel like this was like a whole heavy entire week release i mean we start off with the union raffles sunday last sunday literally seven days ago and then we've been kind of winged what's been going on people's been doing in-store raffles and then today nike sneakers app has blessed some people with the exclusive access. Eesh. No, I'm just kidding. So it looked like a good amount of people got some good W's, man, on this uh, exclusive access. It looks like um, I was looking through my IG post. I posted on my IG and there's a lot of L's. Don't get me wrong. It's a limited shoe. You guys got to remember. It's a very limited shoe. And But still, it seemed like it's some, uh, it was a, a decent amount of W's, you know. Um, of course, there's going to be more L's than W's. But still, you know, uh, some of the homies that I know actually got exclusive access. Uh, Tung An, he from Miami. I was kicking with him in Miami down in Sneaker Exit, uh, my uh, West Palm, which I will be at uh, Sneaker Exit Atlanta tomorrow. So come through. Uh, even my boy Tops World, he even got uh, a W on the Sneaker Exclusive Access. Man, um, no, my bad. No, he didn't get exclusive access, but he got an email from um, Union LA. So we'll talk about that, the Union raffle. So. In a little bit but right now i want to talk about the exclusive access i i didn't get exclusive access guys you know of course not i, I never get exclusive access i don't know even how to get exclusive access they say i mean i've done watch and heart every single shoot i don't watch every single video i have purchased and i did everything i possibly can i still can't get a w i don't know what the, how, how to do it you guys tell me i mean time one of these days nike will bless me but hey but still congrats to everyone that did get w's but it was only for the Desert Moss, which was the yellow pair. It wasn't the taupe. Now, my boy Tops, he got a W uh, in Union LA. He probably, probably shouldn't tell his business, but he got a, he literally got an email today and he got a W. He sent me an invoice. He showed me the invoice. He's like, yo, I got a W. He was calling me. He was hyped up. I was like, oh, that's dope. And he didn't get a text. The Kicks 100 Kicks got an exclusive access from uh, Sneakers, man. Shouts to you, bro. <laughs> yeah. Exclusive access. I think this was the release for the unions. I'm not sure if they'll do like a draw or anything like that. Like the last release with like with these here. I think this is what it's going to be. You know, they're going to give out a certain amount of people the exclusive access. And then that's it. This is pretty much it of the release. I'm thinking, you know, unless Nike announced that they're going to be a sneakers app release or something. Because like I think in other countries, I heard that Canada, they had a release today or something or a drawing. I'm not sure if that's true, but that's what I heard. All my Canadian peoples, let me know. European, whatever the case is. It. This is done. This is it. There's any, no more releases. There's only Union Union and uh, the sneakers app. There's not going to be on tier zeros or anything like that. You know, it's a special collab. Union now. Let's talk about the Union drop. My goodness. So it looks like they did show a lot of love in in-store raffles to the people in LA. So I know a lot of people are looping, people are trying to put on sunglasses and put on masks and change clothes up and so on and so forth. They're trying to get extra tickets. Hey, whatever it takes, man. You know, I'm not hating on nobody, but just whatever it freaking takes, okay? Um, let's just talk about the, the global raffle because now that was a huge mess, guys. That was a huge mess. Um, so they did a raffle Sunday. And what they did was like you had to enter in the raffle or something like that. Then you'll get a text message. Some people didn't even get a text message. They were hitting me up like, yo, I didn't get a text message or I got a text message and I couldn't put my credit card information or so on and so forth. I, I have no idea. I was just like, bro, it's it's that's just crazy. I would it was just a big mess. Because you gotta think, I'm pretty sure it was bought out like crazy. I was hearing people putting like 10,000 clips in, in the raffle and successfully and stuff like that. I'm not sure if they caught on to that. I hope they did, you know? I mean, for goodness sakes, it was a two hour raffle, so botters can kind of figure it out and eventually just 
go ham you know still it, it was that was that was rough and then on top of that even when let's just say you you got through you got a text message and everything and then you got the text message you know some of the they were messaging uh raffle winners they're texting raffle winners hey you got a w and then some people were saying that they couldn't even process their payment they couldn't even check out it was more than one people that hit me up about that like it was a lot like a lot more than it should have been they did say something how like their address had to be exact same as the billing address or something it had to be to the t i don't know people were telling me up and down i was like yo make sure it's all correct and they were telling me like yo i did i made sure it's all correct i've been with my bank i was calling it, it was on their end or so on and so forth it was just a huge mess like people just couldn't check out like that is worse like giving people blue balls to see that you got a w and you can't even check out and then your uh, session got expired Man, I'll be madder than <laughs> some people were up late night for hours trying to figure out and they couldn't get through. So I don't know if it's something to do with their servers or something, but I did see some people did end up checking out. It seems like all of a sudden it, it just seems like the only people I saw that really got W's were the Desert Moss. I think that uh you know like last year, right? I feel like if people went for the guavas, you could you would have got a W instead of you went for the Norse. Because everybody I think everybody went the black pair, even though these were more exclusive. Now it's the other way around. The Topes more exclusive to the Union uh, Union Drop and or Union Store, and I think it's a little bit more limited, and more people wanted that. And I saw far less Ws on the Topes than it was on the Desert Moss. It looks like a lot of people got Ws. A lot of people that did end up getting Ws were the Desert Moss. If anyone got the Topes in a size nine and a half, hit me up, man. That's I'm looking for the Topes. Okay, I think I'm I'm working on some getting some pairs. So just I'm just saying I I need I need I need uh, pairs for content, guys. And I'm a high beast, so you know. that was kind of the issue. I feel like if you had the Desert Moss or you went for the Desert Moss in the raffle, you probably you might have probably ended up getting a W. Uh, or had a better chance getting a W. I should say that. Not saying you will, just a better chance than the Topes. Yeah, man, I just want to talk about this release, man. This release was just god awful, man. I just hope Union, you learn from, they learn from this is that please don't do a raffle. You know, like just, they had it so good last year. I don't understand why. Like they could have just did what they did last year and just say, hey, what is the color white? Or what is two plus two? Or you know what? Even the Omniers, they did a really good drop this year. I'm gonna say that the, probably one of the best releases of this year. You know, not to to say that, not saying this is a better shoe or anything, but release wise, they're fine with the off the box. There was plenty of pairs. A lot of manual users got Ws, and the way how they released it and, and everything, I felt like this was a really great release. And they took a page from Union last year, and just for some reason, Union decided to do a raffle. Why did they do the raffle? Hmm? Come on now. They've been so successful the past few releases. Why did they do a raffle? To me, it didn't make sense why they did a raffle. It, I mean, it kind of just, it is what it is at this point. Um, this is my, what I think has happened, allegedly, okay? This is all allegedly, this is just a theory. I have no insight, but I'm just saying this, man. Like, for them to do a raffle system and the way how this release was, it seemed like, and just to kind of like it just it was a terrible release man this is very controversial okay i just think like they had to push some some pairs backdoor they just had to um you know if they wanted to do backdoor just do a backdoor just whatever you want a backdoor backdoor and then whatever you have left over then release that to the public you know what i mean and do first come first serve don't do this raffle crap and you know giving people blue balls that you can't even check out like that's just horrible. It's not fixed, don't break it, because it worked the past few releases. There's no reason for them to do this way. This is all allegedly, guys. You guys tell me what you guys think, you know, if you guys pretty sure they had their reasons, whatever they want to do for a raffle system. I just felt like it's a little bit tougher to go ahead and weed out all the botting raffles and stuff like that, and then have to sh send out text message, and then they're sending out emails, and so on. So, like, bro, like, just, they should've just did it how they had to do it, man. This was such a, one this had to be one of the worst releases of this year like one of them it was like the way it was handled it wasn't that great but hey they business they can do whatever they want people's gonna end up buying it anyway so it doesn't even matter you know uh anyways price on these things have kind of went down a little bit i saw the the moss price kind of went up i think people were kind of panicking they're still they're about like at 550 now to 500 uh to me this is probably a time i would still be a little bit patient uh, uh, for the desert moss around like 500 or so that'll probably be the best point probably sometime next week is going to be the best time because that's when people are going to start to 
uh, have pairs and it's going to start to be on the market and it start to it those you know people start probably dumping pairs and panic sale and probably drive the price down. So just yeah, I would I would just stay tuned for that guys. So if you guys end up do wanting a pair, crazy week man. Hopefully uh, this probably won't be the last time I talk about this shoe because if I the the next time I talk about the Union Fours is when I actually have a pair. So there, we'll just wait till that. This is probably the last time I talk about the release and everything and price wise and stuff like that. The next time I talk about it is when I have pairs in hand. So anyway guys, that's pretty much end of the video guys. Hopefully I see you guys down in Atlanta, uh, sneaker exit down in Atlanta. Um, I will be there this weekend for my birthday. So come through, celebrate uh, for my birthday and everything. That'll be nice. But anyway guys, appreciate y'all, love y'all. If you guys don't mind, please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if it's your first time here. Comment down below and please hit that bell for all the notifications for when I do drop vids. And don't forget to follow me on my social media at German Chris on IG, sometimes I'm on Twitter, and don't forget Snapchat. Anyway, guys, I appreciate y'all. Love y'all. I'm Jumpman Chris. Peace. Pew.